You see the little speck? It's Times Square. Next Friday, more people will be crowded in that little speck than the population of Delaware, Vermont, North Dakota, South Dakota, Wyoming, Alaska, and the District of Columbia. The tradition began in 1907. Since then, the size of the ball has grown to weigh nearly six tons. That's something to think about if you're one of the million people who's going to be hanging out in Times Square this year. Not so big a deal if you're one of the roughly 22% of people who fall asleep before midnight. Looking at you, Dad or the roughly 44% of people who plan on kissing someone at midnight. On average, 45% of Americans will make a New Year's resolution. Nearly half of them will quit in six months. Studies have shown that getting organized, losing weight, spending less money, quitting smoking, and finding love are the most popular New Year's resolutions. Julius Caesar was the first to adopt January 1st as the New Year in 46 BC. Britain and America, which was a colony at the time, didn't call the New Year January 1st until 1752. Old Lang Syne was originally a Scots poem written by Robert Burns in 1788. In most of the English-speaking world, it is sung at the stroke of midnight on December 31st to mark the passage of one year into the next. 